In our culture, you know, everybody has the right to do what he wants to, and he gets also opportunities. There, there is Dutch design. You shouldn't characterize it by saying that we use recycled wood, or that we recycle in general, that we take uh, iconic shapes and then do it in another material. Or, I mean, those are all the stereotypes about Dutch design. What is design? Then I immediately say daily life. That's the only reaction that I have. Just design is not, you know, making this extraordinary shape. The starting point is daily life. And from there you get maybe to the extraordinary shape. To me, I think design is uh, the way uh, usable uh, objects are, are shaped, are constructed. It's definitely, I think, everything in our daily lives is designed, either by scientists or by artists. We're completely surrounded by it. For designers, it's really hard to make something ugly because they want to control the outcome. They want to make something beautiful. But try to make something ugly once. It's, it's great. You should do it. It's, it's uh, really, really important to break away from your own traditions as a designer because you cannot make only beautiful stuff. Sometimes you make, when you, when you, when you try to make uh, something ugly five times in a row, you will end up making something beautiful be without knowing it. Okay, what design and storytelling. <laughs> yeah, no, no that's it. Really I, I, it's, not, it's nothing else than, than, than telling a story. And or you told it good and everybody likes it, or you, yeah. you told it bad and nobody there likes it. There are some it. people that uh, when you're in a group, no, like uh, let's do it uh, with a campfire or in a cafe, there are some people that are very good at storytelling. That you wish you had that talent. Uh, like, uh, and, and they can even tell your story better. Uh, that's the same with design, uh, um, but then shaping it. <laughs>